Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to a new week. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and I film my weight loss journey, showing you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get into this weekly vlog, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without further ado, let's get into this week's vlog. So it is the morning, I am tired. Oh, do you hear the birds chirping? I see like the little birds in the tree outside our front door. Wow, that is so serene. But anyways, last night I started reading the Witcher series and it's getting me back into reading books. So I'm very, very excited to read the series because I watched the first season Oh, it's a normal size cat. It was just really crouched. I watched the first season last December when it came out on Netflix and I really, really loved it. And I had no idea that it was a book series. Um, I knew after watching the first episode that it was a game that people played, um, but I had no idea it was a book series. So I bought the book, the first book out of the entire series. I think there's like eight books which is great. I love when a series is really long <laughs> um, because Wheel of Time is a like a fantasy book. I need to stop saying sci-fi because it's really fantasy books that I like because when people start asking me like, oh, you like the science-y bit? And I'm just like, oh no, it's more of the fantasy for me <laughs> um, that I like. So yeah, I started reading started reading that series last night and it's getting me back into reading books because this year I have not read books at all really I read at the beginning of the year and I read a couple for book club but really haven't gotten into reading like a lot of books because I usually read a lot of books um in a year and yeah just for whatever reason not for whatever reason, because 2020 has been 2020. I just haven't been motivated. I've also gained weight this year that I was planning on losing. But you know what? I feel like that's something that I'm kind of coming to terms with. I, yeah, I'm, I'm coming to terms with the fact that I had this goal this year to lose another 30 pounds. And that didn't happen. I instead gained like 20 because so I got down to 200 earlier this year which means that I lost like you know 33 pounds but had gained that weight back had gained you know a lot of weight back and so I'm at 221 I think is what I said last week what I ended the week last week at and the goal is to try to get down as much as possible as I can. Um, I'm not trying to get back down to being 30 minus 200 because that is just, being 170 pounds at the end of this year is unreasonable with the fact that there's less than 30 days left of the year. So my goal right now is to lose the pound, like lose as much of the weight that I had gained and not put like a, a number of like, okay, I have to be 200 by the end of the year. If I'm 200 by the end of the year, that's great. But if I'm 210, that's also really great. If I'm 215, that's also really great. So I'm just gonna eat as clean as possible up until Christmas, enjoy the food on Christmas day, and then eat clean again until the new year. Eat really good on new year and then just eat as clean as I possibly can when I can and then treat myself in a healthy amount. Yeah, I know, there's a lot to see. 
Uh huh. It's really nice. Yeah. I used to see the birds. Yeah, the birds are out, Grandma. And they're on the floor and they're all over. Yeah, they're on the tree and then they like are swooping down a little bit and now they're on the other tree. Uh huh. But they usually be on the ground. Yeah. The little one. Yeah. You see the little one? Well, yeah, they were all really little. Yeah. Yeah. They're really cute. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute, good Grandma. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Yeah. But look at that. I got to take that up today because it's warm. Yeah, it is warm today. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the birds are going like, for, they like were they here. here. And they move that way. Yeah, they moved that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They usually start here and make all these holes and do whatever they're doing. And then they move. Yeah. But it's so pretty to see them, though. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Having a good morning? Yeah. Good. Uh, I got everything off my bed. I got to change linen for the Christmas holiday. Yeah. You know, I do want to get a new, um, I got to go to Ikea and you know, on the line mm -hmm. and see if I can do a pickup. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah? The, okay. I'm going to try and get that ordered. Okay, Jasmine, don't show the bottom. Now. Okay. <laughs> Jasmine? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well i'm going to get started with a workout it's about 8 30 this morning so we're gonna work out also hope you're proud of me i've been stretching as you guys have seen i'm i'm proving it but i am actually stretching now which is really good so i'm going to get some clothes on i washed clothes last night and all day yesterday and so whew. also this weekend Yesterday, I had my ice cream sandwich, so no longer ordering any more ice cream sandwiches. Oh, but that's okay, because, you know, I had two once in a row. And then yesterday, we ordered Chinese takeaway, and we got the tree set up. I will show you guys that now.
if I need to. Now I gotta fix it better than that. You want me to do it? You, in a minute. Hold on. Yeah, you can do it. Don't don't squeeze it now. I got it. You can let go. Turn it around. Grandma, good job. Look at me. Good job, Grandma. Thank you. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Okay, this I gotta put it somewhere. See, I like how, see how those things are like those drops? They're so, this is one of the things you just hear. You put it somewhere. I like how you did that. Yeah, I'll just put it all over. Yeah, we set up the tree yesterday, so it is all done. And, and Grandma has like her nice little wreath on the front door, which you can kind of see. Um, but yeah, we have the Christmas tree up. We have the wreath done. That's typically all we really do for Christmas decorations. Might put a little bit of lights outside our door. Um, yeah, we don't do like a ton, a ton of stuff for Christmas decorations. It's more about the food for us uh, in terms of uh, Christmassy things. And we go to neighborhoods that have really nice Christmas lights on their houses. Hello? And we walk through. Hello? She's, she's on that phone. Anyways, I'm gonna get started with this workout and get this week going. I've been on my way up, now it's really far down. Oh, I literally dropped the weight on my shoulder here. <sighs> and it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Ow. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess that's my workout today because I need to ice this. It's like starting to throb even more. And I don't want to get a shoulder injury, so. And I was gonna like use my weights today with like legs and stuff and obviously I need my shoulders for that, so. I can't believe the weight slipped out of my hand and landed on my shoulder that way. Ugh. I decided to make myself a strawberry banana with blueberry smoothie. Mmm. Sorry, I forgot to put it away. Thank you. So you know what it is? got a lot of blackberries in there. Mm-hmm. I make them as a dog, and then I like teacher. Yeah. It's really good. I put kefir, and I put oat milk in there, and that's it, and I didn't sweeten it with anything, and it's plenty sweet. It's not too sweet, but like there is sweetness that you can taste from the fruit. That's nice. Yeah. And then what are you having for? You're having um, your baked bread. Oh, the bread that I made. Yeah, and um, what's this called? A goat's cheese with goat's uh, cheese cranberry. With so you're having that with some banana and some yogurt. Yeah. And tea, yeah. some lemon tea. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a good breakfast, Grandma. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. I can't get this going. I don't want to do it. It's good. Very good. Mm -hmm. And we're going to watch Star Wars Rebels tonight? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, are we missing some? Yeah. Gotta we got to up on the, I got to go back and review what we missed. Yeah. Not what on the Rebel, but the other one to keep the up yeah to understand not the movie because i've seen all of them i think i did mm. yeah Excited the animated show oh the other animated shows yeah we'll see what's missing we we'll see what's missing so hmm the smoothie was really good but it was not filling 
but I definitely want to continue having smoothies in the morning because I need to use up my kefir and I also want to incorporate some fruits into my diet because I haven't had a lot of fruits now that I think about it also did my makeup today but I'm still hungry <laughs> yeah I think I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate with the Harrods hot chocolate which honestly you only need like two teaspoons of this and it is enough with some oat milk and maybe a little bit of creamer it is perfection so I'm gonna make that now and I will show you guys that when that is done a lot of liquids today to start the morning but it's 11 39 and I had my smoothie at like 10 45 I had a very late start because as you guys saw I dropped the weight on my shoulder <laughs> It really just slipped out of my hand and just fell on my shoulder. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And then immediately thought I could continue going on, push through the pain, but I'm getting older. So I should ice this ASAP so that it heals properly. Cause I'm very tense in my shoulders naturally. I always just like have them up or tight. I have really tight shoulders cause I do that to myself. I try to relax. It's it's like a weird thing that happens, but that I do. Um, well, some of will say. So yeah, I put ice on my shoulder because I am getting older and I don't want to injure myself. So I stopped the workout because everything relied heavily on my shoulders to hold the weights and all that fun stuff. So anyways, I am rambling and I'm going to show you guys the hot chocolate once it is done. I do want like something hot. I would like some bread as well, but I don't need it. I don't need it. I just, I need something warm to warm my body up. I've spent way too much time on Instagram. <laughs> today I've already met my um, I've almost met my uh, hour limit that I have daily on Monday through Friday at least on my Instagram I have my hot chocolate here you can see oh so good good and creamy with the oat milk it's just chef's kiss but yeah I spent way too much time on Instagram also if you don't follow me on Instagram please do you know put the little thing over here so you can follow me on my Instagram I post daily on there so you can keep up with me daily on my feed there I post well I post daily on my stories and then I post you know weekly several times a week on instagram so yeah follow me on there if you want to keep up with me in real time and <sighs> my friend just got a new dog and it's a little husky and it's so cute i think that's another reason why i want to move into a house like when we move next is because i want a backyard because i want to get a dog i want to get a dog so bad I want a dog I feel like at this point in my life a man no I want a dog <laughs> oh he's so cute this little puppy I'm so jealous I could cry I like cry at people's dogs now I never was an emotional person before but getting older really has made me emotional Ooh. hot chocolate was exactly what I needed so I've been working it's been another hour need to take a break to have some lunch um, my grandma is currently on her way home we're going to make banana bread she does not like chocolate in her banana bread I do but we're gonna make it without chocolate and she wants walnuts in there and she said that she has walnuts at home so i have the recipe 
I just use this banana bread recipe that I found on the Food Network. And it's really good. So I'm gonna favorite that so I have it. But the recipe calls for two cups flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon salt, two eggs, one cup sugar, four very ripe bananas, one teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of vegetable oil, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. So we have all that we need to make this banana bread. Um, still need to get her measuring cups. I'll probably get those off of Amazon today and ship those out to her. But I am going to continue working for a little bit and then I will take a lunch break because accomplished a lot today, um, which has been really, really good. I'm glad that I've gotten a lot done and have been very productive today. Having some patacones. Well, it's not really patacones, it's plantain. So I'm just finishing up my smoothie. I found spinach deep within the freezer. So I put a couple handfuls of that into my smoothie and it made a larger smoothie. I'm probably immediately after 
finishing this smoothie, going to make myself avocado on toast with some egg. And that's going to be my breakfast slash lunch because I've been eating a lot later for some reason. It's 1044 right now. And yeah, I think I just start work and then I'm like, oh yeah, I need to eat my breakfast. So I need to have a better routine with that. So I'm gonna have a little bit more of these spring rolls and then I'm going to make some banana bread because my grandma wants a healthy, sweet treat. So these spring rolls are definitely my uh, dinner because it is 5.10 here in Texas. Man, something's wrong with my car, but we don't know what it is. Like my tires are fine, but... There's like this thumping noise and we don't know what is causing it. So I have extended warranty that I got for the car, which is really great. And so that should hopefully cover whatever is going awry with Stuart, the silver fox. But yeah, hopefully my car is fine. Cause my wheels, my tires are in really good condition they have enough mileage on them to get me back home to Colorado because my grandma, I feel like, didn't really believe me. But when she took my car because I, my break, my lunch break was me going to Barnes and Nobles and picking up my books and then coming straight back, which took a while. Um, so that was like the entirety of my lunch break. And I was like, I would go get my car looked at, but I don't want to take too long of a lunch. So... She was like, yeah, I'm gonna test it to see like what is wrong with your car and then I'm gonna take it for them to look at your tires. And they're like, yeah, her tires are great. They have like a thousand more miles. They're in really good condition. Cause I told my grandma that before I left Colorado that I don't need to get my tires replaced. And I feel like she didn't really believe me, but the guy telling her the condition of my tires, I don't know, man. I will show you guys a little bit of the process of me making banana bread and then yeah I'm gonna make a little bit more spring rolls because I have a little bit of sauce left to go with it so I'm gonna make me a couple more and that will be my uh, dinner done All right it's 514 now so I gotta gotta get started on that Ooh. So this is the recipe that I follow on the Food Network, mainly because I was looking for something that didn't have a lot of the ingredients that I didn't have, and I've never gone back <laughs> to using other recipes. So this is what I use. This is all that you will need. Just put it in a bowl, mix it all together. I mean, I mixed all the you know dry ingredients together, and then I kept the wet ingredients in a separate bowl and then added them one at a time. But yeah, you just bake for an hour. It says it's supposed to make one loaf, but for me it makes two. So yeah, very, very simple. And now I need to go help my grandma. <laughs>
just finished a meeting. Um, my grandma also went to HEB because she went to go pick up some food and got me so much lemon tea because it's so good guys it is so good especially if you're not feeling well and you need your you know little lubrication in your throat um speaking of throats i have um a little bedazzled moment here as you can see i supported a small business named julia bond I follow her on Instagram and she has jewelry that she kind of curates and finds that are vintage pieces and then she has jewelry that's kind of standard. So this one is the 18 inch herringbone necklace. I do have a thick neck as you guys can see because for other people it would probably be a little bit lower but for me um, <laughs> that's not the case but yeah it's it's really really nice and it is a really good um, length. I have another necklace that goes like here, so I think it would be really nice layered, but I, I like pretty simple jewelry pieces and I've been wanting a necklace for such a long time. And now I have a second necklace um, to pair with my first one that I've had for such a long time, but I just feel really good supporting a small business. So do check out Julia Vaughn on Instagram and her website, I will leave that linked here so you guys can go check that out and i will leave a link in the description box below so you can go check her out and support her and her beautiful family and she is also very very gorgeous as well so yeah check out julia vaughn i really love the pieces they're affordable um you know you can save like twenty dollars a paycheck for two months to be able to buy a piece so to me that is affordable um to be able to kind of save up for like two months twenty dollars a paycheck and buy something i really well maybe like three months actually um because some people some some pieces are like a hundred over a hundred dollars i think my grandma's calling me mailing address for what just give her the mailing address my mailing yes, address yes yes this is assurance yeah um hello yeah give her the address okay <laughs> um my mail so i was talking about this necklace and then i had to go on a call but basically i drove my car yesterday for like a block or two and we heard thumping and I have to get so much work done on my car in relation to my tires. I also have to get new tires, which they had another thousand miles on them, but it's affecting like the rotors. So it's quite a, quite a bit of stuff that needs to get done to my car. Right, Grandma? Yeah. Because of the rotors and what else? The rear front rotors and the pad. The brake pads, I think. I'm over here, like, talking like, oh, you know. <laughs> ah! Was not expecting this, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Also, I had that piece of banana bread. And I think I'm good for the day. That's like two slices of banana bread. Can't have no more because girl has been gaining weight eating all this bread every day. Ciao. I'm having another slice, my third slice of banana bread today. Mm. So good. With some milk. After a long day, I think I may watch a YouTube video, but I'm drinking some tea. Oh, that's really good. But today has been stressful to say the least. Like I was in a really long meeting and then had to figure out stuff with my car. My grandma was helping me because we heard this thump and she took it to the place and then they called us 
this afternoon and told us all the things that were wrong with my car and they were like it's basically gonna cost you two thousand dollars and that's a lot of money that I just that's a lot of money and I was just like wow that is a very big bill and so I called around and found a place to do it for way cheaper and it's going to cost me way less than that but essentially yeah we had our neighbor confirm the prices for some of the services that I was getting done at the other place that I found that was more affordable because $2,000 is just a lot to just drop all of a sudden on a car to get things fixed and make sure that and make sure that everything is running properly and so because they already told me the co like everything that needed to be done and gave me their cost I just called around before they started working on the car to get an estimate from other places to see if there was more affordable options and then I found a more affordable option that way, but it was stressful to say the least, but I'm glad that I was able to call and I found an option that worked within a budget that made sense for me to get Stuart the Silver Fox fixed. So I'm just, the bill is still atrocious, but at least it's more affordable than what the original place was suggesting. So I'm going to tuck into this tea, turn on the fan because I'm hot now, and read this book. You know, Grandma, I'm so glad that we found 
your your purse. I am too. And what was the lesson that we learned today? <sighs> Don't put it back there because that's not usually where I usually have it in the kitchen. I usually put it right there. So just put it in a spot that's easy to see <sighs> and not on the floor. It's okay, Grandma. Okay. She's busy doing other things. <laughs> Girl, I was going to use your, your card to pay them. She's like, give me this money. Grandma's currently making pate. She just left this. <laughs> She's making pate, I'll show you. So we got the meat here. I'll just put this on and then it will do this. Making the pate? Yeah. Wow. That's it. I already made the, the filling. So what I do is I just take a teaspoon, a tablespoon of this, put it in here, and then I take this, flip it over, close it up. See? Right? Yeah. And then I lift up this part here, this part, and then I do this closed security end. This is patty. They call it patty. Jamaica patty. Good job, Grandma. Yeah. I am now having a slice of banana bread. Mmm. And since it's just me, who drinks this oat milk? Go where? Yeah. To the Chinese restaurant? I don't even know. If we do that, it's on first, but it won't give me the right direction. You gotta look at it, Jasmine. Okay, I'll do that. Let's go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Jasmine. So we tried going to Mayfield House. They have like a little peacock area. We saw the peacocks like right at the front mm -hmm. and then um as we were doing a little nature walk grandma just starts saying what 
This is wild country. She this is nature walk. And she's I'm like not going out there. She's like, I don't like nature walks. <laughs> no, because I start hearing things other than the birds. I'm looking on the ground, make sure I don't see no snakes. <laughs> That's why I don't want it to go in there. This is where my fear comes from. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a place. It is called First Walk Chinese Restaurant. Apparently they have really good food here. I've never been. My grandma's been. She likes the combination with fried rice or lo mein. So I need to figure out what I want. Try to go for a healthy option, but we'll see. So we got our order and devoured the chicken wings. Three, no, she, I had two and she had four. And then I had both of the rolls because we couldn't figure out which one had pork in it. And they both looked like they had pork in them. So I ate them. Now I'm gonna eat my lo mein. Show you guys that right now. Oh, that look good, Jasmine. Got shrimp. You see the shrimp too, don't you? Yeah, the shrimp. Ooh, with mushrooms? Yes! Mmm! Mine got that big gallon bag thing of water. A, 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 five, a one gallon bottle of water. I'm drinking from it. I think it's water. Where? In the back of us in a white truck with a with a cowboy hat on. Oh, wow. That chicken was good. Yeah. So we know we can come back here one more time. Up oh, before losing. Right? Mm-hmm. We'll go some more. So how is it? You see? So what is it? <laughs> it's beer and um, condensed milk. Condensed, condensed sweet milk. So she puts this pours light with condensed sweet milk, and that's like her dessert drink. And now she's eating her combination meal mm -hmm. it looks really good i put mine the rest of mine because they give you so much food in the freezer I'm in a little bit of bag. see all this food. oh yeah i weighed in at 222 i weighed in this morning 222 so technically gained a pound from last week but i also got up to 226 earlier in this week because i was eating a lot of banana bread and I had several of those uh, pate. <laughs> They're really good, but Jamaican then I pate. Jamaican pate. But then I got back down to 222 from 226. So I'm thinking of doing a vlog to show like what I weigh each day, just to show that there's fluctuation in weight depending on what you eat, because it's not like the same thing every day. Like depending on what foods that you eat, depending on your body composition. I am drinking a ginger ale, small can. It's a seven and a half, ow, what? It's a seven and a half fluid ounce uh, can. All the sodas that I've had have been seven and a half fluid ounces, FYI. So they're about like 90 calories or whatever. This one, the Sprite is about 90 calories. The ginger ale is 80 calories. But anyways, I need to end this vlog. If you guys have made it this far, I really appreciate you making it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked any part of this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye. Sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are
Are you telling me this is a sign? Yeah.